Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings. And hi Pisces, how are you guys doing? Happy birthday to all the Pisces out there. And happy birthday to me as well. <laughs> Mine's on um, March 3rd. Um, so it's just like, it's very happening very soon. So, but happy birthday to all you guys. And let's see what messages are going to show up for you. This is a bonus read for you guys because actually I was um, having a look at the, you know, my channel statistics and extendeds. So the thing is that you and a couple of other signs are my top sellers. The first top seller is my personal readings. Uh, the next one is always your readings and especially your 2024 predictions are a top seller. Um, so I think I did them in November for the rest of the year for 2024 and already it's a top seller on my page. So thank you so much. And also last year I did your soulmate predictions. They were a top seller too, uh, on my page. So if you guys want a new soulmate reading for this year, let me know in the comments. Um, so what I'm going to start to do now for you guys is that whoever like and you're always, you know, my number one here. So uh, whoever, you know, the sign that shows up, you know, nicely on my channel, I'm going to be doing them more frequently, going to be giving out bonus readings as well. OK, so that's what we are going to be doing and personal readings right now are closed but they will reopen in the mid of march or you can book a slot now for the mid march uh but yeah thank you so much for all the support thank you so much for everything i'm turning 24 <laughs> and i don't know how i feel about it um okay i mean i know i'm young but I started this channel when I was 21, I believe. Yeah. 21? Yeah. Time flies. Anyway, North Node Energy, North Star, Life Purpose, Journey, Karmic Destiny, Learning Period, Path, and the Challenge, Fulfillment, and Fruition. Pisces, you're in this energy here where you're creating, you know, your own destiny, where you're working on your own self, your own life now, okay? Um, I do feel like Pisces... You still have a long way to go because North Node is where we are striving to be. North Node is not an easy energy. You know, North Node is our life's purpose. North Node requires effort. Okay, so this is where you're striving to be. This is where you should be actually, okay? Wolf Moon. Ask your pack to assist you and explore your own modes of expression. Um, I really feel like Pisces, you're manifesting big things in your life. And also, also, Pisces, this is a great month for you to manifest whatever you want because you know astrologically things are really in your favor we have venus in your sign and then there's a, there's just a lot happening this month uh things are in your favor things that you want to manifest you're going to be able to manifest things that require negotiation communication all of that is looking really good for you it's like you're a money magnet you're a people magnet right now people are going to try to associate with you give you compliments like if you go to an event or a party people are going to like you um a new lover could show up a past lover could show up so right now naturally your energy is very magnetic specifically if you have more than one placement in pisces um things are going to get moving for you okay i do feel like pisces recently something happened in which you felt very alone um maybe you did something for the other person but then you felt very alone okay it's like you felt like okay at the end of the day i'm going to bed all by myself and then i have all of this that i need to do by myself i need to handle things emotionally and everything you know then what is this person in my life for you know there's someone you may have felt like is always causing you 
stress than anything else and recently you realize that you're your own person you know some of you are supposed to be alone that's what you felt I feel like Pisces some of you are also getting tired of learning lessons again and again um, so it's like I feel like I'm, I'm reading for someone who's really tired of something in their life but really Pisces things are going in your favor okay awareness communication writing short trip learning intelligence perception semi sextile and uh, challenging I do feel like Pisces there are certain challenging energies that surround you but they're very much connected to you and other people so right now you know when we are when we have certain friends or certain people here where we feel like um, things are difficult with them than anything it's time to maybe uh, take a step back from those friends or those friendships those people because anything right now that you're going to be trying to force is just not going to work for you Pisces so don't try to force things don't try to force an outcome and also you don't really need to uh, bend over backwards for someone I feel like this is a time Pisces where someone's going to come back around to ask for your forgiveness as well um, don't get pissed I, I feel like someone's also going to try to piss you off specifically around um, 8th, 9th and 10th of March I would suggest you be careful with any arguments because uh, there's Mars um, you know some something going on with Mars uh, at that time sorry I forgot I was having a look at the placements yesterday now I forgot but yeah um, I do feel like Pisces this is a time for you to heal some of you are also connected to the spiritual realm you're connected you're very much connected to the divine right now okay but I do feel like some of you are bothered. Some of you are bothered and tired of a certain person or a certain situation in your life. But with that opposition card here, it's like a mirror. Something is being reflected back to you. And Pisces, there's. I'm going to be very honest with you. There's something you need to also change within yourself. Uh, to be able to get out of this okay you're, you're, you're supposed to learn a lesson from something that happened okay and I feel like you may be like I mean who even has uh, really sincere friends very few people and you know not everyone is loyal and, and sincere towards you so it is okay when we trust people when we put you know effort into something and you know people are who they are you know it's very hard for us to change them but I feel like it's better to change ourselves and the way we approach them in the future or the way we approach the situation um, it is best Pisces that you avoid someone you tend to have a conflict with because they may try to get on your nerves other than that I feel like this is a time for you to do do stuff that uplifts you that makes you feel good as a person okay also if this reading resonates with you there will be a link in the description box to the extended okay but let's see let's continue the reading first <laughs> all right so Pisces Pisces let's see we have the nine of cups the king of wands the eight of swords Pisces I feel like you're stuck in your head about something um, you're confused about something and I feel like maybe this is a person in your life okay three of swords I do feel like you're trying to get over a heartbreak or a situation that was very tough for you to deal with and with the ace of pentacles I do see that there's a new opportunity coming up for you six of cups Oof. <laughs> man the tower
Queen of Wands. Two of Swords. Let's see what's your challenge and advice, Pisces. What's your challenge and advice? If some of you are related to communication field or it's like there's something here about the internet, you know, a lot of people work on the internet nowadays, but it's like if your work is related to communication, writing something or uh, speaking or pitching an idea, this is a good time to do that. Um, okay. What's the challenge and advice for Pisces? Queen of Swords. Show me one more card on their challenge and advice. Hmm. Pisces, you have a habit of revisiting something because you have a habit of forgiving someone too much, okay? I don't know if it's a friend or a lover, and you need to stop doing that because this has already drained you way more. Some of you feel very betrayed and hurt because of someone, and you're trying to put more focus on your work now. I do feel like some of you are having trouble sleeping, or it's like when you're going to bed, there's something here repetitive going on in your mind, Pisces, okay? Let's have a look at your person's energy and then I'm going to have a look at these cards. So I'm going to reveal this in a bit, okay? Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck for your person with the Two of Cups. So who's this person? Looks like they're wanting to communicate with you or perhaps um, come up with a confession or something. Do you want to? That's the question. Do you want to entertain this? I don't feel like you do, but we will see. <laughs> So starting your reading, I feel like the light is too bright, but anyway. So Pisces, Nine of Cups, King of Wands, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords. Um, I feel like Pisces, you're trying to uh, be happy on your own. You're trying to find your self-confidence again. But the, there is a situation with a person and you just feel like it confuses you more than it does good to you. Um, and you're choosing to not do anything about it, okay? It's like, you know, there's someone who made you feel alone, um, <clears throat> even if you were with them. Okay? Um, Right now you're focusing on the new, you're focusing on new opportunities in your life, you're focusing on new beginnings in your life, um, you're creating opportunities for yourself and you know that it's better to put your energy towards something that you feel like has the potential and is going to grow with time. But you do have to cut out someone, you know, this is like a disaster waiting to happen anyway, Pisces. The King and the Queen of Wands is together. so. You know, Pisces, it does look like you're manifesting someone else in your life, um, not the person you thought you were going to be with, which I'm going to get to in a bit, but it does look like you're getting your own confidence back. And, you know, um, with the Six of Cups energy, I feel like there is a past person coming back. But with the Two of Swords, you may not be open to it or you may not entertain it as much. It just looks like Pisces, you just don't want to revisit something. Some of you are also fed up of a friend of yours, a close friend of yours. But with the Six of Cups energy, I feel like very soon, like this is something that's going to happen. Someone's going to show up in your life. But you may already feel like with that eight of swords that okay this was something that i was overthinking about or this whole situation in particular and it took a lot for me to get myself out of it and now they're back what am i supposed to do i don't feel like you're gonna go back to them i'm being really honest with you this person has broken your heart you feel very heavy about a particular situation you're not showing it but you feel it 
but at the same time you don't want to stay there so it's good that you have in mind that you know it's it's time for me to pick myself back up and get going so it's like you're you're doing what you're doing in your life without really showing what you're really going through okay um i do feel like work wise things are looking a lot better for you specifically for those looking for a new job or some sort of a new opportunity here uh queen of wands and the two of swords with the tower so pisces i do feel like for a lot of you here um you're you're turning your back to this tower pisces okay Something happened all of a sudden. It left you feeling heartbroken. But then I also feel like you, you know, you realize that there are certain things that just happen for us to learn lessons. Okay. Look at that card. Your soul has returned to learn many lessons with the North Node. This is not something that's happening as a coincidence. It's something that was meant to be. Maybe that tower moment happened because you were supposed to see something differently okay but i'm gonna be very honest with you that tower moment again can happen in the future why because the six of cups is right coming right before that so i'm gonna have a look and see what that is what's that tower please Ace of Swords. Okay, this is not a bad tower. You know, the tower moment happened in the past already. It brought you clarity. But with the Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, someone is going to show up and communicate with you, Pisces. There is some sort of like this confession or a message coming through for you. What's that Two of Swords? Pisces, Knight of Cups. Pisces, I'm going to tell you to stand your ground against this person. You have Ace of Wands. So you already have three Aces showing up. Ace of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So you have a lot of new beginnings to look forward to. You don't really need to go backwards. And I'm telling you, when you leave a relationship that's draining you more than doing any good to you, as you move on, you know, sometimes you're going to feel like, okay, I'm, a, I'm alone, I'm all by myself. But afterwards, there is someone showing up in the energy for you. And it's not always about finding a partner. It's, it's also about maybe learning who you are first. Because I feel like there is, you compromised a lot in a situation. It's time for you to put your energy back into yourself, the lovers. You have a choice to make in the future, Pisces specifically in love or in in a, f a friendship situation okay but with that queen of wands here i feel like you're already getting your confidence back uh eight of cups you may just decide to walk away and get your confidence back but with that knight of cups pisces someone is showing up and i'm being honest with you this offer is going to confuse you because you're emotionally attached okay that's where your advice is coming in ten of swords you felt the betrayal you felt like you know ten of swords is when we're emotionally tired of something but we're also mentally tired of something ten of swords is a lot of mental burden and exhaustion okay um and ultimately this is something beyond the ten of swords we have nothing okay this is the last card so uh pisces you know your challenge and advice have something to do with standing your ground queen of swords and the four of swords is your challenge pisces you also you you didn't really take a step back in the past that's why things certain things happened okay i'm not really blaming you for something but it's like you were taken for granted in a situation and now you're being told here to take a step back some of you need to rest more uh energize your energy energize your energy <laughs> queen of swords to the four of swords is like standing your ground speaking your truth and just being silent where silence is required sleeping more or resting more just close your eyes and take a deep breath there's just you need that right now okay and one thing i don't understand in this reading pisces of course i'm gonna do more of more of your bonus readings but 
I feel like Pisces, you know, the energies that you're surrounded by, they're very good. Like astrologically, things are going in your favor and energetically, it's a really good time. But it's like because of the past situation, you're not really able to maybe wrap your head around it at the moment, okay? Mm, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. <laughs> Uh, page of cups to the ten of swords here so um, pisces you're being told here to do things that uplift your spirit because page of cups energy is piscean energy uh emperor ten of cups page of pentacles try something new spend more time with family spend more time on your business okay with that emperor with that page of pentacles it's like telling you to uh put your energy towards something new something that's gonna work something that is gonna go in your favor ultimately okay and don't really pisces don't entertain something that didn't work out in the past okay tell me about the new opportunity coming for pisces three of cups you're gonna be celebrating something going to a party going to an event very soon but I also feel like recently you've cut off certain friends. You have the Magician card, Nine of Swords. I do feel like, Pisces, you're getting over a person you used to be obsessed with or you felt like it's hard to detach from them. You're getting over them, which is really good. But it's also very important that you give yourself that time, okay? You have, like, Queen of Wands is, like, someone who knows what they're capable of. They're confident. They're a little mysterious, but they're confident, okay? So... You don't really need to settle for less than what you deserve, Pisces. You know, the Knight of Cups is showing up. But do you feel like the Knight of Cups can match the Queen of Wands energy? Whether you're a female watching this or a guy watching this, whoever is approaching you, their energy and your energy, it just does not match. Okay. So we have here the Five of Cups for your person's energy. Oh, so whoever this is, Pisces, they have regrets. They have remorse um over something okay then oh my goodness then we have the world card and the eight of pentacles so pisces this person feels like things are done between you two This person feels like things are done between you two, Pisces. Oh, with the world card, they're, they have, they're sad. They're regretting things. They feel like you're gone, Pisces. What's that eight of pentacles in their energy? I feel like, Pisces, this person's trying to avoid... Uh, uh, Oh my goodness so i feel like the tables have turned now pisces because at some point you were giving them a lot of energy and now that is missing and now they're getting all up in their head about you but they're also trying to resist you know um it's almost like someone is picking up their phone but not texting you okay i feel like this person's really resisting communicating with you talking to you but that's what's on their mind that's what they really want to do is communicate with you is talk to you but they're not doing it for whatever reason okay um we have the knight of pentacles here pisces this person's um their approach towards you is very slow. Um, I feel like at some point they're going to show up, but oh my goodness, the, the energy around this person is just too heavy, too heavy at the moment. All right, let's move on to your finances now and other, other cards for you. 
but let's see Pisces You have the wheel of fortune so things are about to change in your love life your person's feelings for you their view of you actions they plan on taking where is it going we have two cards and your advice and then we have anybody new coming towards you what's their energy and where is it going with them if you don't have a new person take this side as a prediction bottom of the deck four of cups yeah you're pretty dissatisfied with where things have been going in your um love life so along with that, I'm going to have a look at your blessings, challenges, and also have a look at your self-love message in the extended. I'm also going to give you messages from spirit. So there's going to be a lot that I'm going to try to cover in your extended as well. Okay. For this reading. Um, all right. So let's see. We have unreliable. There is some confusion regarding money. Um, it came in the reverse. I feel like Pisces, you, you got to be careful with who you trust money wise. But I don't feel like there are any blockages. Unreliable was in the reverse. We have voice. Yeah, I did tell you some of you, maybe there's like your voice here with the Mercury and voice card. You speak for a living. It's like doing a podcast or YouTube or what else is there. Uh, maybe pitching an idea, going in a meeting, something like that. Consider careers in radio, public relations or anything in communication. The only thing holding you back is your inability to speak your truth. This card also, oopsie, talks about maybe singing or something like that. Um, okay, wait a sec. We have options. Uh, many opportunities are becoming available to you now or flooded by too many ideas. Do not get stuck in doubt when an offer presents itself. Seize the moment and create multiple streams of income. So I do feel like Pisces, um, you're going to be making money from more than one stream of income. Some of you already have that going on and the other stream of income is going to start to make you money. If you don't have it, this is like this card is telling you to maybe start something new as a side hustle. We have new money something new you've been working on will be very profitable you should consider careers in uh, sorry <laughs> you should consider creating a new source of income which is something i just said if you have money making idea do it so it's definitely telling you to step up step outside your comfort zone pisces to try something new something that maybe you have been putting off Okay, the past, something from the past is coming back, perhaps an old job or an unfinished project. Look at, uh, look to the past. I feel like I've talked too much and now I'm like messing up everything. Look to the past to understand the future, a lesson, experience or an old skill. You could be earning or receiving money from something you did in the past. So Pisces, you know, finances are looking really good. Some sort of a legal matter is gonna go in your fa favor. Maybe a lawsuit or a legal settlement, loan, whatever something here is going in your favor you're getting the halt card in the reverse so things in your life that were stuck they're gonna get moving again for you pisces so now let's have a look at your person's love messages actually before i do that let's have a look at your guided message for the reading what's the guided message for pisces oops And this reading is not just for the month of March. This reading is from now up until whenever you watch it. Um, or let me tell you something. Things that you manifest now, things that, you know, the seeds that you're planting now, you're going to see the results even later on. So um, 
don't don't just feel like all the blessings that are talked about are just for the month of march okay um i know people like most of you know the timings but like some people get confused because they're like how is this supposed to happen i don't know <sighs> let's see so your guided message is uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty so pisces left right center you are getting money you're getting good stuff and also one thing i'm going to tell you is that this is the time for you to simplify your life um cut out people left right and center okay cut out toxic friends co-workers limit your interaction with them and with this card i'm getting a vibe here pisces that there is something you feel it's it's almost like someone you thought is they're a certain person they that's not how they were and it was revealed to you and now you feel sad but there is a tough situation that you went through it's actually a blessing in disguise for you with this card that's what i'm realizing okay if for some of you you have money then you got to be careful because there could be someone around you who's just like lurking on your money or just like something like that you know some friends or people are like that who you know want you for superficial reasons but of course that message is not for everybody You know, every time I say something like that, someone leaves a comment, oh, but I don't have anything in my pockets. Okay, then fine, I'm not talking to you anyway. You know, not every message is for you, okay? Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Look beneath the surface in your life and you will find treasure. So Pisces, there are lots of things that you don't see, but it doesn't mean that just because you're not seeing it, it's not there, okay? bounty is awaiting you in many forms the secret is knowing that you deserve it and are worthy of it something that you thought was ordinary will turn out to be extraordinary take a second to look at the people and situations in your life sometimes receiving treasure is simply a matter of seeing life in a new way uh, the treasure was already there so you just did not see it look for opportunity pisces look for opportunity so Pisces, let's see, what is the message from your person now? I'm, start, I'm starting to understand our connection. Someone is trying to understand what happened here and they're just trying to understand things. I feel like they're understanding things because you have separated yourself from the situation. that's one of the main reasons <clears throat> you were the best thing in my life okay this person feels like you're the best that they got and they're not really going to get someone better than you of course the amount of effort love you were showing them who does that i left when i saw you with someone okay this person may be assuming that you have someone else in your life give me one more actually two more okay i left you before you could leave me okay so this person if they're not talking to you they're also afraid to contact you pisces but they feel like you down the line they could see that you would leave them so this is someone who deep down inside did feel that at some point you're gonna leave them okay i'm becoming a better person just being near you in, is intoxicating this person's trying to focus on themselves but deep down inside i'm telling you that they are obsessed obsessed with you okay so that's about it pisces those were the messages that showed up for you hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already have a look at the extended link below and you can also book a personal reading with me but do read the slots that are available because that's when you're gonna get the reading okay and thank you so much for being here happy birthday to all of you and i will see you guys next time bye